Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem called rotate image, which is part of today's um, lead code daily challenge. So the problem says we get an n by n uh, matrix uh, that represents an image and we want to rotate it by 19 degrees. Um, and so what we want to do is rotate it in place. Um, so we want to modify the matrix itself. Um, and so let's take a look at this example here. Um, we have one, two, three, and so that one needs to be the last cut. Um, okay, so here, for example, if you take a look at um, at this array, uh, one, two, three, we need to rotate it 19 degrees, basically means it will go to the last column. And then four, five, six goes, still stays on the middle, but the middle column. And then the last one becomes the first column, right? So that's sort of how we rotate. Um, if you take a look also here, you can see this one becomes the last column. Um, you can just visualize it if you rotate 19 degrees. But essentially what's happening, um, if you take a look at this um, 147, you can see it was a column. It became a row, 147, but the reverse direction. So it's actually just, if you take the first column, it's one, four, seven, right? Um, if we reverse it, then it's seven, four, one. So we reverse it and we put it in the first row. And so if you can think of it as sort of two transformations, the first transformation converts each column to a row. The second transverse, uh, transformation reverses each row. And that will pretty much gives us this 90 degrees um, rotation, right? So one, four, seven becomes first one, four, seven in the first row, but we reverse it, so it's seven, four, one. Four, five, uh, two, five, eight becomes first a middle ro row, so each middle, co each I column becomes the I row, and then we reverse. Um, that's what happens here, and same thing here. Um, so that's the idea, and we just need to do it in place, yeah. Um, okay, so how can we solve this? <coughs> so what we said is we need um, two, two things, we need um, a transpose operation. So that's the first thing we need to transpose. Um, and that, that means basically convert columns here to rows. Um, and then we need to, the second thing we need to reverse rows. And that will give us the 19 degrees. Um, now let's just do an example and make sure that this idea works. Um, so basically, transpose means converts column to rows. So we need to zero one. We need to swap it with one zero zero two, and it's about two two zero. This is basically for converting the first column to the first row. And then, of course, we need to move this and save it back somewhere. So we need to save it here in the first column, right? Um, however, if we do for our loop that does the conversion, basically that does the uh, from zero to n for i, and then for j, we can't do from every time from zero to n, right? Because we will first, let's say, swap one for seven, and then we will again swap four with something else. So what we want to do is for j, um, when we are swapping with this operation, start from i plus one, um, so that we don't swap what we already swapped. Um, l let me just go walk through a couple of, um, for the transformation for this one, and you will see how it works. So this is the initial one. So the first step for us would be to start from i equal to zero. So our for loop would be from i equal to zero, to, from zero to n, and for j, for j from i plus one to n. And n here is open uh, interval, so it's n plus one. So it's n minus one, sorry. It's the last one is n minus one. So we will go for i from zero to n, and we'll go for j from i plus one to n. This is so the, that we don't swap what we already swapped. Um, this is basically our loop. Um, and now we will swap. So the first iteration, one, two, three, and one, four, seven. So we need to swap zero. So j from one to n minus one, because i starts out at zero. This is the first operation. And so what that would mean is we would need to swap i, j. So we need to swap i, j with j, i. So we need to swap zero, one with one, zero, and zero, two with two, zero, right? Um, and so that means basically zero, one, which is two, is swapped with four. So that's what we have here. And 
zero two, which is three, is swapped with two zero, which is seven, so we swapped here. So now we have one four seven, one two three here. In the second iteration where i equal to one and j equal to i plus one, so two. So i equal to one and j from two to n minus one and is equal to three by the way. And so we'd have we need to swap only one two with two one and then we stop because we reach n minus one. And so we swap one two which is six with two one which is eight. Um, and so that's what we do here. And now we, we increase i, so we go to the i equal to 2 iteration. j is equal to i plus 1, so 3. So that's outside of bigger than um, equal to n, so we are done. And so the last matrix we have is this. You can run it on a bigger example just to get an idea. But you can see here, with these operations, we got the transpose. 1, 4, 7 is now in this row. 2, 5, 8 is now in this, col in this row. 3, 7, 9 is now in the last row, right? And that's pretty much it. Um, and so now we did the transpose, which is converting the columns to rows. Now we do the reversal, which is just converting each row, reversing each row, essentially. So we'd have um, just 7, 4, 1, 8, 5, 2, 3, uh, sorry, 9, 6, 3. And this is what the problem asks us to do. Um, if you take a look at the late code uh, description. Now the question becomes, how do we reverse? Well, reversing is actually easy. If you, you could just go back to just one single array, if you have one, four, seven, how do you reverse it? Well, you just swap each, each i with n minus i minus one. That's, that's pretty much what we do. And that way, and we, we do it only for i from zero to um, n divided by two, right? So that we stop. Here we don't swap and then go back and swap again. So if you take a bigger example, let's say one, two, three, four, five, and we want to swap. So we start from, so the size here is zero, one, two, three, four. So n is equal to five. Um, so that means basically um, five divided by two is roughly two, right? So our mid here is i is going to go from zero to two. And so we swap every i with i minus n, n minus i minus 1. So we swap 5 and 1. And then we need to swap 2 and 4. So we'd have 4 and then 2 here. And then 3 stays in the same place, right? And we are done because we, did, we, we need to do just up to 2. And now we have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it's reversed. So that's what we'll do here is basically just swap um, i, j with um, i, n minus i minus 1. And n here is just the columns, number of columns. Um, and sorry, this is n minus j, right? Yeah, so that's pretty much it for reversing. And now, yeah, we know how to do our two steps, um, the transpose and then the reverse. Just want to emphasize again, the critical part to think about and to make sure you understand so that going forward you can do transpose easily is this that you need to start from i plus one and then you need to swap i j and j i um yeah so that's pretty much it let's code this and make sure it passes test cases um okay so what do we need to do first here um so the first thing we need to do is to transpose our matrix and we'll do it in place and then after that we need to reverse those are the two transformation we need to do and that's pretty much it we do it in place we don't need to return anything and so now let's define our functions so transpose first we said we want to i to go from zero to n um, actually just to make this easier to to read let's define rows as the number of rows and columns as the number of columns so rows would be length of the matrix and then um, the columns would be the length of the first row, right? We are guaranteed to have a first row, by the way. Um, and so for i is from zero to the number of rows. J, we said we need to start from i plus one, so we don't, we don't swap what we already swapped. And we go all the way to columns. Um, and then we need to swap here. Um, and so mji. So remember, what we are doing is swapping ij with ji. So that the, row, the column becomes rows. Um, and so this would be ji. We want to swap that with ij, uh, ji here, and mij. 
Now this is just nice in Python because you can do the swapping in one operation. But if you want to do it, let's say um, in another language, you could just do tomp is equal to m uh, j i, and then you could do m i j is equal to or actually i j here, and then just override this with m j i, and then after that you do j i is equal to tomp that will be the same thing as doing this here. Um, so this is just assigning ij to ji and ji to ij. So swapping. Um, okay, so that's for the transpose function. Now let's write our reverse function. I'll get rid of this just to leave some space. Um, and now we will do the reverse function, which we said we just want to do it on every row. And swapping is just like we do in, a, in an array. We'll go all the way to n divided by 2, so that just columns divided by 2. And for each position in that row, uh, we'll do i, j, um, is going, we are going to swap here. Uh, you can do also what I said here, if you don't want to do it the Python way here, you can do it with the tomp variable, um, like we did here. Um, so that would be mean basically this, we need, needs to be swapped with i, j, columns minus j, minus one so columns is the number of values um, and so that's exactly what we do here i and then columns minus j minus one and so we just ij we need to be this and this here we need to be j, ij uh, and that should be it so let's run this um here yeah we just need to clean this up Call or submit, and that passes test cases. Um, now, one thing for time complexity here, we are doing for transpose of rows by column. So let's just say it's O of an M, um, or actually let's just do rows column. Um, and then if we go here, this is also of rows columns, right? Because yeah, this is divided by two, but in terms of time complexity, it's almost the same. So it's Overall, it's just that of rows by columns. Um, yeah, so I think time. And in terms of space, we are not using any extra space. So it's all one uh, space. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.